guys, welcome back to an all new episode of Conflicts. Today we'll be looking at Water Drop. This here is a reverse osmosis system that's designed to go ahead and fit under your sink. So this here is a great way to go ahead and improve the quality of water without too much of a hassle. Now in this episode here we'll be unboxing it, taking a look at it and seeing exactly what it's all about. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. What's up everybody? Welcome back to an all new episode of Conflicts. Today we'll be looking at something a little bit different. This here is a reverse osmosis water filtration system. Now this here is actually a unique system mainly because it does not require a separate tank and it's under the sink application. With a simple drill and two here and there, you can go ahead and have it up and running within a few hours. Now the way it works is quite interesting. It has three different filters. So you have yourselves an RO, CF, and CB. And these filters here will eliminate different dissolvable particles in which you actually have a live readout of a TDS out. Now in this episode here, we'll be unboxing it, taking a closer look at it, and seeing exactly what it's all about. So if you guys wanted your own, be sure to check out the link down below in the description. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so on the top, we have ourselves a instruction manual. So this will go ahead and explain how to go ahead and set this up. Uh, you have a quick setup showcasing all of the different parts that it comes with. So you get the system housing, you get a carbon filter, a pre-sediment carbon block filter, and a reverse osmosis membrane filter. You also get a separate faucet. So you have your reverse osmosis faucet, which goes next to your regular faucet, a drain saddle, variety of different tubings, pipings, and tape, as well as a power adapter. Now, obviously you can do this yourself. It's a DIY project. However, they would recommend having a plumber just in case. Now, this here is gonna be our power adapter. Um, and then we have our piping tubing, as well as our connections, All right? Inside here is gonna be our system housing, which is actually a very heavy product. <laughs> All right, so this here's everything that you get. So first off, you do get your system housing, which is our water drop unit. Now this particular unit almost looks like a PC, which is really cool to see, and it has a very futuristic vibe. Now you do have your three different ports here on the front for filters. So we do have a CF filter, an RO filter, and then a CB filter. And literally it's a plug and play setup, which is really nice. And then you just insert it like this and then you turn it to lock into place, just like that. And just like that, you insert the filters. Now you also get a faucet. So this here is going to be our little faucet. So this is really nice. So this here is a reverse osmosis faucet and it has a status indicator LED giving you an update in terms of if the water is drinkable. Now on the front here, we do have a TDS counter. So this will talk about how many sediments are actually in the water. The lower the number, the better. And it kind of showcases to you exactly that your water drop is working. Now, lastly, you do get a power adapter, variety of different pipes and uh, cables here to go ahead and connect to it. And that is it in a GIF. All right, so the nice thing about the water drop unit is that it fits under any sink. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this guy, set it up, and then we install the piping followed by plugging it in. We can go ahead and now use it. Now on the filtration, it'll showcase exactly what's happening. And then on the top there, it showcases the three different filters that are locked in and loaded. Now, as we kind of use it, you can see on the top here, the LED ring will indicate that it's safe to drink. And overall, it's a very easy concept. So the nice thing is that it has a smart RO system. So based on the color of the ring, it'll determine whether or whether or not the filter needs to be changed. Blue means you're good. Yellow means it needs to be replaced soon. And red means it needs to be replaced now. So overall, it's actually a really interesting setup and the uniqueness of this is that you can go ahead and have nice clean water anywhere with a simple setup like this. Now, other than that, if you guys had any questions, feel free to comment down below. Otherwise, thank you again for watching. See you guys next time. Take care now. Bye-bye.